Hey, welcome to another episode of The Rob Report. I'm your host, Robert Bob TV Brown. Before we get into this segment, by the end of this video, I want you to do a few things for me. First of all, if you like the video, hit the like button. Please do. If you don't like it, hit unlike. It's okay. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Sometimes, as Jimmy Doyle would say, you find yourself unsubscribed and you need to make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell right next to it so you can be notified when a new video is being dropped. Whoop, there it is. And more importantly, the Super Chat will be on for this segment. So if you want to donate uh, toward the efforts of Bob TV, that's freely up to you. I do have a job, but any amount will help toward the growth of this channel. And more important, let us help you help us by introducing you to a program. There's a link down below that says Equal Justice for All. You're going to click that video link. And there's some educational tutorial about a phenomenal program in America that is really making equal justice a reality for every citizen. So this program is phenomenal. Um, the proceeds from you participating in the program will go back 10%. Will go back into um, the Bob TV YouTube channel. So anyway, my name is Robert Brown with the Rob Report. Let's get into it. Jesse Smollett is out of jail, and they dropped the charges. What? What happened in the situation? Because something is going on. Bad enough you got the mayor. Well, let's let's look at it. The mayor is crooked. I don't understand how Ron Manuel is still the mayor. I didn't even know he was still in office. You got a police system that has been held as crooked until his brother took over of the force. Something is up with this. Something is up with this, and we need to get down to the bottom of it, find out exactly what is going on with Jesse Smollett. Jesse Smollett legal team says prosecutors flip-flopping on why they dropped the charges. All right, so let's listen to this. Empire actor Jesse Smalley legal team on Wednesday lashed out at the prosecutors arguing that the Cook County State Attorney has flip-flopped on his comment about their client after agreeing to drop charges against the actor. Prosecutors announced Tuesday that they were dropping disorderly conduct charges against Smollett for filing a false police report. So they dropped the charges him filing a false police report. I don't think nobody should be let off for filing false police report. Something is up with this. Less than three weeks after the actor was indicted on charges that he paid, paid, paid two men to stage a host attack to make him look like the victims of a hate crime. As part of the arrangement, Smollett agreed to forfeit to the city of Chicago $10,000 in bun money. In other words, he's paying his way out of this thing. He put up to secure his release after he was arrested. <clears throat> Smollett legal team has taken offense with comments to the media by Cook County State Attorney Office officials saying prosecutors and police are continuing their campaign against the actor. Prosecutors said they've dropped the charges but insist that doesn't mean Smollett was exonerated a wrongdoing. Now you guys sound like the people when they talk about Mueller report against Trump. Trump got let go. He would not be indicted, but that doesn't mean he is not exonerated from other charges. Sound like the same thing. All right, so basically the prosecutor letting them go, but they got other ways they're going to try to go about getting to him. So let's look at this. So we respectfully request all government agencies involved to live up to their tenants of their office, state and local law, Supreme Court rules on trial, publicity, as well as rules of professional responsibility for lawyers and prosecutors. Small ad attorney Patricia Brown Holmes said in the statement, we will not try this case in the court of public opinion. There is no case to try. The case was dismissed. We should all allow Mr. Smollett to move on with his life as a free citizen. Now let me repeat that again. It said we respectfully request all government agencies involved live up to the ethical tenets of their office. In other words, the smaller team doesn't want them to pursue anything anymore. 
So they're basically saying the state need to shut up, the local law need to shut up, the Supreme Court rules on trial publicity, as well as rules of professional responsibility for lawyers and prosecutors. Patricia Brown Holmes said in a statement, we will not try this case in the cup court of public opinion. Well, where are you going to try that? Because, of course, it said there is no case to try. The case was dismissed. We should allow Mr. Smollett to move on with his life as a free citizen. Smollett legal team pointed to comments that Joseph Maggots, the first assistant attorney made um, to the Chicago Tribune and CBS News, in which he asserted that Smollett was not exonerated. He is not exonerated. We dropped the charges for now, but he's not exonerated. And that the case was a kind to an alternative prosecutor uh, for an offender with a short criminal history. The bottom line is we stand behind the investigation. We stand behind the decision to charge him, Magus said. The fact that Smollett feels that we've exonerated him, we've not. I can't make it any clearer than that. We have not exonerated him. In the CBS News interview, Maga said his, his office sometimes chooses to defer or do alternative prosecutions. In other words, they, they switch it up and go other directions when it comes to prosecute. Holmes noted that Maga's media comment were far different than what the assistant attorney Reza, Reza Lehner told Judge Stephen Watkins in a short hearing Tuesday while prosecutors formally dropped the charges. After reviewing the facts, and circumstances of the case include Mr. Smollett's volunteer service in the community and agreement to forfeit his bond to the city of Chicago. The state motions in regard to the indictment is nolly pros, said Lehner, using the legal term for dropping the charges. We believe this outcome is just a deposition and appropriate resolution to this case. Smollett legal team also slammed police for releasing police reports regarding the case to multiple media outlets Wednesday after prosecution agreed to seal the court file. The reports include Smollett's address and other information that was widely disseminated prior to Wednesday court hearing. Anthony Gogami, the chief police department spokesman, said the department released the Smollett police report in response to the Freedom of Information Act requested Wednesday morning. Police department officials were advised of the court uh, order by the state attorney's office later in that day and received a formal directive Wednesday afternoon to cease releasing the documents. The decision is suddenly dropped. The charges was met with sharp criticism by the police official and Mayor Rahm Emanuel. Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson that uh, uh, Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson that he and his aides were given no forewarning by the prosecutor's office that they were dropping the charges against Smollett. Police and prosecutors said Smollett paid two brothers, Abel and Ola Asundero, $3,500 to stage an attack on Smollett near his apartment building in Chicago, Swanky Street, Streeterville neighborhood, in which he was made to look like a victim of a vicious hate crime. Police identified um, Smollett as the victim of the attack. For weeks after the incident, the case shift gears, and those son of brothers who were on the cusp of being charged by the police told investigators that they worked with Smollett to carry out the attack. The brothers told Detective Smollett hoped to use the incident to raise his profile and salary, Johnson said. Emmanuel continued his criticism of the prosecutor's office on Wednesday for their handling of the case. There is something riding in Denmark, Emmanuel told U.S. Today, paraphrasing the famous line in Shakespeare's Hamlet, it doesn't add up. I don't get it. People better get their story straight, Emmanuel said, of the state attorney's office. We're all owed a sense of accountability by the system. <laughs> all right, so here we got Mayor Rahm Emanuel. Crooked as they come. Chief White House officer, former Chief White House officer, uh, uh, Chief of Staff of President Barack Obama, <laughs> got the nerve to be commenting about this situation. He himself is involved with all kind of craps, yet he haven't been charged. So how he's going to talk about this man who was involved with crap, who got charged, who they decided to drop the charge. Bet you, nine times out of ten, they dropped the charges because there was something that they did wrong and they pre uh, and they decided that they're going to go after them on that wrongdoing unless they drop the charges. The police department isn't for it. The mayor isn't for it. Both of them is bottom line crooked or has been involved with crooked situations in the past. So um, 
they don't have no room to talk about what happened with Jesse and his charges being dropped. Prosecutor office, they decide to drop the charges instead of prosecuting them. Obviously, there's a reason why. And I bet you it wasn't just the fact that they exposed his personal information, which there's laws against that. And you can come up on the heavy hand from the government for doing something like that, especially when you're government leaders in government positions. You can lose your job over that. So I'm quite sure they probably went to the prosecutor and said, hey, you messed up. Either you drop these charges or we're going to file charges on you for this. I guarantee you that's it. And that's the only reason why he got off. Dude was wrong. Dude was wrong for hiring these boys to try to act like they're going to whoop his butts just to raise his profile. How much profile you got to get raised, Jesse? But then again, everybody don't watch Empire. And Jesse is just that type of person. He's what they call a B-list actor. To me, I think he's pretty good on the show, but the show is a B-list show. I love the show. It's a great show. I can't wait for the next episode. I think the next episode came on tonight. So I got to go watch as soon as I get off here. I love Empire. But it's a B-list show, and it's not a top, top, top-notch show, show that, I mean, anyway. So, uh, I don't know what to say about this situation. Here's what I got to say about this. Guys, girls, ladies, gentlemen. If you need attention that bad, don't do it this way. Don't involve polices. Don't call the police over something that's, don't make up stuff just to get the police involved and try to raise your profile and make yourself look like a victim. There's real people out there that are really being victimized and you're taking away the help they need just to raise your profile. That is selfish, inconsiderate, snobbish. Just is wrong. And Ron Emanuel, Ron Emanuel, you know what you need to do, uh, Ron Emanuel? This is what you need to do. Mind your damn motherfucking business, bitch. Why? Because you in a lot of stuff trouble yourself, dog. Shut up. Stop putting your mouth on somebody's case when you got your own legal issues, bruh. I'm Rob Brown with the Rob Report, man. People, be real good citizens and don't do stupid stuff like this.